everybody, alongside Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to EA Sports. Puck drop just moments away. Quick thought before we get things underway here in the postseason. The veterans will be excited. The rookies will be so nervous as they all get set to drop the puck for the first time in the playoffs this year. Opening face-off is just seconds away. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. Kamloops will go to work as they win the draw. Nice dish from the left wing. Oh, that was violent. That's a big hit, and it jars you right to the core when you get hit like that. Quick feed to Ellis. Passes it over to Arvidsson. Thunderous use of the body of the hit. Kamloops has possession of it now. Intercepts the pass. The Lakers look to start the transition game. And now he angles it across to Hainsey. Move to the middle. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. James, we'll go back and take another look at that hit. What an enormous crunch that he took. His helmet flies off. I can tell you one thing. My chin strap was on there a lot tighter than that. Bass has won the draw and tries to make a diagonal pass to Etz. Looks for breakout options behind his own cage. Dillon's moving the puck through his own zone. New Orleans is across the blue line. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Oh, that's a good hit. Lays the body. Moves it to Forsberg. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Passes on over to Bass. Slides it across. He scores! And look who it is who delivers! Oh, it's the young guy. They don't really expect that your young guys are going to carry your team. But he's on the board with his first career playoff goal. So many ebbs and flows to a playoff series. It's kind of nice to get the first goal. Give your team the upper foot here early on. Kamloops with his first period goal takes the early 1-0 lead. Coaches love this when they can get in front in the first period. It allows them to use their whole bench to make sure nobody gets overworked. Handles the puck. Move to the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Sends the pass over. Slides it across to Wheeler. New Orleans has the puck. Fabros moving it ahead. Kamloops has it in their own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over. And that goes wide. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. Edgar's gaining momentum. New Orleans plays the puck along the boards. The Lakers gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance. To his teammate, he scores! You know he was nervous. The rookie gets into his first playoff. That first career playoff goal will help him relax. Really good puck work here as they move it around. The opening is for the guy in the low slot. Look, he's by himself, and he's able to one-time at home. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Kamloops seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. And now it's grabbed by Brandon. Quick pass to Lucas, and he makes the save. Nice pass. Denies him again. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. 
Kamloops can build on this lead here with still plenty of time to go here in the first. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Well, that's taking it from his own end. Takes the feed. Goes right to the crease. Quick feed to Gabrielle. Along the half wall with the puck. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Takes control of the puck. New Orleans on the attack. Great save from in tight. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Kyle's been on fire lately. His point streak's starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Kamloops leads it 2-0. Answered the call there. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Great stop by the goaltender. Positioning and quickness. That's the day right there. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Kamloops takes possession off the draw. Winds up from the point. Makes the save. Sisson's quick on the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Dillon. New Orleans looks to break out in their own end. Moves the puck. Watson's going to play it against the half wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Taken along the wall by Pickard. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. New Orleans looks to move the puck from their own end. Here's a short pass to Ellis. Sisson setting up against the wall. Puck scooped up by Hainsey. Kamloops takes it across the line. Knocked away. New Orleans with possession in their own zone. Levels him with the hit. Kamloops gets the puck near the boards. Here comes the pushback. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Receives the pass. He's got a step. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Bath can't avoid the body contact. You want to look for a place to escape. Sometimes there's nowhere to go. Kamloops has delivered at both ends of the ice, especially offensively, as they continue to lead late in the first. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stones them with the blocker. Nice zone entry on the left side. Sends it across. Off the post and into the back of the net. Just a quarter of an inch keeps that puck out. If it hits the post more directly, it stays out. As you're a shooter, that's a great sound. And the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Kamloops has had more scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals late in this first period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Scored by number four. Assisted by number four. Well, this has been a thrashing through the first 20 minutes as it finally comes to an end. Fans tonight, the home team one is dropping $50 gift certificates to Selman. Proud sponsor of tonight's game with 70 stores and 14 restaurants. Selman has it all. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two.
face off for period number two, about set to go. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? New Orleans can't look at anything that's happened tonight and feel satisfied. They have been outplayed since the very beginning. If they want to get back in this game somehow, it's to get back to work. They've got to start skating. Kamloops applying all sorts of pressure here early in this second period as they have badly outshot them. Grabbed along the boards by Ellis. Makes the stop with the blocker. Abbott had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. Moves it quickly over to Pickard. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Connor. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Dillon. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a blast. Denies him. He got all of it. Moves it on over to Kane. Ben's coaches want to get him back on the ice. When Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. Manny laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. New Orleans is going to make a change in goal. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? Kamloops has come to play in a big way tonight. What an offensive onslaught. Doesn't look like these two teams are from the same league. I mean, no. they have dominated this thing start to finish. Scored by Logan's got it in the offensive zone. Just wide. New Orleans has it near the wall. And he takes a shot. Knocked off the puck. Edgar's stick handling in his own zone. Wheeler's got the puck. Here he is, shot right in front, denies him! Abbott's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a shot. Kamloops tries to break out from their own end. Puts it in deep. Picked up along the wall by Days. That's turned away with the pad by Saros. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Puts the puck on net, and that one's turned away. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Kamloops just absolutely putting the boots to them, leading 4-0. Scooped up along the wall by Brandon. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's the pass. Whoa. There it is, his first career playoff goal. He doesn't have to wait very long to celebrate that. That's a great feeling getting on the board in the playoffs. That's oh, a great pass, good hands. That you elevate the puck over the defender's stick and the shooter catch and release, and it's in the net. has continued this offensive onslaught. We still got half a game to play here, Razor. And that's a shame for the opponent, too. They're not able to keep up at any level tonight. This is a laugher at this point. A chance gets in front of it. Again, the denial by the goaltender. 45 seconds. Abbott's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, Kamloops came to play tonight. They've extended this lead, and it is a wipeout. Ryan's won it off the faceoff. Puck moved over to Lucas. On the attack along the boards, New Orleans takes possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. 
takes it to the front. Abbott's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. The setters will glide into the dot. New Orleans takes possession off the faceoff. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Cops won the draw here in the offensive zone. Puts one on net, and that goes off a player. Puck dumped in. Taken along the wall by Pickard. New Orleans gets a hold of it. Steps into the offensive end. Steps into all of that. The Lakers scoop it up along the boards. He's got a breakaway. I don't know what to describe that as. I can tell you whatever he thought was going to happen, it wasn't that. They don't even get a shot. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Knocks the puck loose. New Orleans takes possession along the wall. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. He clearly doesn't like that. Here we go. Yeah, that's the star player that took that hit, James. And a teammate better step up for him here. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Of course, everybody jumps up when the fight happens, but your guy wins, and the building just keeps moving along. And the crowd's still on their feet here, Ray. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. The Lakers get a hold of the puck off the draw. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes a shot. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. And now it's over to Logan. Puck picked up by Ellis. Into the offensive end now. Kamloops gains a hold of possession. Logan's got it in the defensive end. Kamloops is in the offensive zone. Just wide. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. The Blues will play it in their own end. They go on the attack through center. Kamloops gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Sent into the offensive zone. The Blues have it behind the cage. Passes ahead from the right side. Quick shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Don't forget fans if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight. Go for our guest services group. And you'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment.
The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. 20 minutes to go here in regulation of what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? New Orleans has to make sure that their effort doesn't fall away as they get frustrated. Chance after chance gets denied by a goaltender having a career night. Lots of time left in this period. 
Kamloops boasting a 5-0 lead to this point. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. From the left side, they gain the zone. Off target! The Blues have it against the wall. Connor's picking up steam. He got all of that one. New Orleans has it in the offensive end. Stops him with the paddle. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. And look at this, a three on one. His reflexes on display tonight. Abbott's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Rocks him on the play. Dismiss that chance. Moves the puck over to Ben. And he's going after him here. Well, after that hit. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated. And guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the men. Go time. Oh, and he caught him right there. And that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Not much doubt who the winner is of this fight. Watch it, and now listen. And the crowd back alive here inside the stadium. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. Bass wins the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he comes up with it. Now a quick pass to Brandon. Kamloops walking that line. Denied by the goaltender. Serrells makes the save and gets the puck into the corner very efficiently. Solid hit on that play. Kamloops gains a hold of it. Brandon's lugging the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Wondell's got it now deep inside his own end. Here they are on the attack. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Tries to feed it over to Edgar. And now he moves it to Forsberg. Manages to hang on. Denies him in close. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Abbott's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. One-sided, lopsided, blowout, you name it. 5 nothing is where we're sitting. Here he is, wrists it on net. Comes up with the stick save. The Lakers move it ahead. They've got numbers off the post. Kamloops can look at this a couple of ways here. They can say they're really accurate because they're hitting the post all the time, or they can say that they've had bad luck. In any case, they're still winning. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Bumped off the puck. Moves it to Pickard. Kamloops plays it against the boards. Wake chase scores! And that's diligent work. The first shot goes on goal, but she hunts it right down to bang in the rebound. She wasn't letting that one get away. Really good positioning here. The goal scorer gets inside the defenseman, takes the rebound, and throws it up in the top bin. Kamloops is back to center ice. Is this their best performance we've seen this year? Offensively, it's as good as any other night that they've had. Domination in the offensive zone. Jabs the puck away. New Orleans has it in their own zone. Quick pass to Holzer. And that pass goes awry. Grabbed along the boards by Connor. Sends a pass over. And he gains the zone here. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Kamloops has it in the defensive end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here he is in close. Oh, just wide of the net. 
doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. And they can't connect. Here's a short pass to Connor. The Lakers take possession in the defensive end. Here's a shot. He scores! Uh, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. Goalie's trying to read here. He gets out at the top of his crease, makes the move to the butterfly, still gets beat up over the blocker. giving their coaches something to smile about because they like to nitpick a lot usually well we hear from them before the game and they're always something that they're critical of because they want to be a better team tonight i don't know how they could critique this well a challenge being laid here oh look at this three o'clock in the parking lot is it three o'clock already down they go He goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. Well, that'll add a spark to the game for sure. The building is pretty loud after that last fight. Upcoming face-off here, and this crowd still buzzing after what we saw just a few moments ago. Days wins possession in the defensive zone. Picks it off in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. Oh, James, this is your fault. I know you said shut out in your head. You broke the curse. This is in the net. That goalie's not happy with you. The Blues have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. The Lakers win the faceoff. Quick feed to Logan. Tries to get the puck over to Brandon. Kamloops has it against the half wall. He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Well, this is like a practice drill here, James. He's so open in the high slot. The pass is on the shooting spot and he just hammers it home Kamloops has to be feeling good about their effort tonight How Razor. could they not James I mean it's been perfect for them they've got a big lead and they're just trying to milk the clock to get home puck grab by Hutton gets it over to Cop. moves it to Wheeler Kamloops has possession of it now. Kyle's got it in the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Grabs the puck in the corner. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Steps in front of that one. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. And he denied that opportunity. The centermen glide into position. Kamloops wins the faceoff. Coughs up possession of the puck. Dishes it to Forsberg. Slides the puck over. Kamloops tries to break out from their own end. It's a three on one. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. That goes wide. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marr. Taken by Hutton. He carries the puck up along the wing. With the blast. Just slide to the net. New Orleans isn't going to change the fate of this game if they can't score here. Late in the third period, they've had as many chances as the opponents. 
they're just not very polished around the net. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Takes the pass. And it is all over with this one. one nothing is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead. They have it now. Razor, they're getting the second ovation from the crowd. Did you guys have this when you were playing? No, we had none of this. Nobody saluted the fans back like this. There seemed to be no real connection to who was watching and who was playing. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.